That's right, everybody. We're back with even more Mario 64. Yeah. You thought we were done with that with that Glover hiatus? Fuck you. I Glover's a so bad too. game. Glover's a bad game and nobody likes it. That's no, what Molly that's, Ann taught me. That's not what we decided. So we just played two fucking episodes of this game and the mic was off. So here we go. Oh yeah. We're gonna try again, and if the mic turns off this time, you know what? We're canceling Ginger Snap <laughs> because I'm tired. And we're not refunding patrons. It's over. Because Rose sent me to the sleepy zone, not to the silly zone. We had a really funny bit about that, but it's gone now. Was it? We were just sitting here talking to each other. How <laughs> disgusting is yeah, that? It's fucked up if true. What? I, I was it funny? I really actually just talked about Irish geography. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't very funny. No, I just talked about how every time I tried to go to fucking Wicklow Town, I fell asleep on bus air and it ended up in Dublin instead. You know, let's not recap it. That's because it. Because this isn't very funny either. No, you're right. You know, I just need... Well, you know what? It's exhausting need... being on all the time, Cooper! You know, I just need, like, Gordon Ramsay sitting in the corner, and every time we're on a bit, he could just be like, NOT FUNNY! <laughs> just go off on us, like... Did you... This fucking joke! Did you hey, Cooper. What's up? Not funny! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Thanks, Gordon. My armpits oh, smell. Oh! I think I forgot to put on deodorant this morning. That's so. Hey mom, you might want to wake Bree up. I'm recording. Oh, whoa! Easy mom. Mom, will you please wake Bree up? Otherwise, she won't sleep all night. Bree's our baby sister, who's yeah. 24. <laughs> Bree's younger than all of us. Yeah. Okay, I got At this. At heart. Actually, I think Bree has way more past lives than me. Cool. I only have three. My only past life was being this owl in <laughs> Mario 64. I have three past lives. That's it. I was surprised to find that out. I thought this was my first go because I feel so stupid all the time. <laughs> so I really thought maybe I was just a new soul. But it turns out this is my fourth chance, and I'm worried about how the first three me's did, because this time we're out. Do you think you improve every time, or is it just really a, def a, a beginner start every time? I don't know, man. I don't know. You're, you're sitting here talking to me about reality, death, reincarnation. I'm trying to get these fucking red coins again. <laughs> the stakes couldn't be higher. Don't go off on some tangent. Talk to me about the game, Molly. So at a psychic fair, Brie got told she was <laughs> Byron in a past life. So now whenever I read something fucking stupid about Byron, which is anything I ever read about Byron, I'm like, way to go, Brie. Way to go, knucklehead. Yeah. <laughs> Read yeah. out with Mary Shelley, that's cool. Cool. In a past life. Cool, cool. Ha! <laughs> and Shelley. <Shelley's laughs> Bree helped make vampires sexy. Byron had a hand in that, I think. I just want to go up. Okay, I'll comment on Can the Can I just now. go up the slope? Oh, yeah, I'm going to become a game commenter now. Cooper asked me to be more oh. engaged with the game. More so, engaged. So three years into your show about video games, you're like, all right. I'm going to give a new, fuck. New year, new me. So what is this? What's going on? How are you doing that? Yeah, okay, How so... Are you for my game Wait, commentary? are you the buttons? The buttons influence the you movie. You are not encouraging me right now. <laughs> you want something from me? Don't be an asshole about it. We both know that's not possible, but I'll do my best. No, actually, I complain about that a lot. I'm like, you ever want to talk to Cooper and he's just not on? Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> that's not being a dick. Yeah. Uh, impossible. You basically have to be crying for me to show you uh, a basic fundamental level of decency and, true, and tact. I cry all the time and you never. <laughs> well, like, you know, you gotta be an important person crying. Who ranks as important if not your sister? A different sister. If not your co-worker, your colleague. My your colleague. Host. My co-host. Yeah. My cohort in crime. You're, you're, we're in cahoots. We're in cahoots. Yes. You're probably too old to know about Kahoot. No, I'm not because we used it because I was an undergrad pretty old. Oh. And I, I once tweeted 
catch me in the club dancing to Cahoots music because um, that one, shit is good. One time senior year, I sent like an entire Discord server my Kahoot link in school, <laughs> and apparently, apparently, um, with like Zoom calls and stuff right now being how class is conducted, it's actually some states are interpreting, um, some states are interpreting jumping into a Zoom call you're not welcome in when it's school as trespassing on private property. Oh, and there are a couple of content creators who have like, and you know, not funny, first of all. These teachers are trying so hard. Yeah. Do not make a stupid YouTube video crashing my nephew's Zoom conference. Yeah. Like, leave these, them alone. These teachers are so but, tired. But like, a couple of content creators were actually arrested oh, for fuck. for making videos about crashing Zoom calls because it was interpreted as like trespassing in a school, basically. Fuck, dude. Um, and there was video evidence. <laughs> um, the classic mistake: thing, filming yourself conducting a crime. The messiest thing about Zoom is that when you talk in a private chat, the person running the meeting gets all the transcripts afterwards. Cool. So anything you say to your classmates. Your teacher can read. I mean, it makes sense. You can't just shoot the shit with your yeah. with your friends in the middle of class without the teacher hearing you yeah, in real life. Yeah, exactly. So, I love, love... Now, this is happening for colleges, too, so it's not just teenagers, but I do love getting info I don't understand about the youths. I'll never forget... Uh, so, there are these exams you have to take... Uh, AP exams, and of course exams too, that kind of shit. They're taking as you know. tests now? Yeah, so when I was in high school, they're very serious. You had to take it at a specific time in the morning, and then we had to stay in the room for three hours. Yeah, it was like that for because me. Because you had to wait for the West Coast to start the test. They didn't want us to get out and text our West Coast friends what was on the test. So they're super serious. So about three years after I graduated, high school just decided they didn't give a fuck anymore. Cool. And they just started tweeting shit, and the test makers were like, oh, you can go to jail, we can fine you thousands of dollars. They can't. But I loved seeing memes that I just absolutely didn't understand. And apparently there was a really fucking weird essay on one of the tests. Well, everybody was tweeting about, and I just saw this, this post on Tumblr that stuck with me, and this is like 2014. Somebody tweeted, or posted on Tumblr, how are they gonna arrest me for leaking their exam essay? They can't even get their wolves to look them in the eyes. And what? I guess I was referencing the essay, and I was just like, what could this possibly be about? But I love that shit. I, I really am that meme of the old guy saying, yeah, stick it to the man. Yeah. <laughs> I just like really I appreciate the energy, but yeah. I have no idea what What's you're talking on? about. Yeah, it's really true. I don't understand what the youths. All right, so check this out. Guarding tip. Bam, bam, bam! You got a nasty flower? Fuck. You run! <laughs> <laughs> and that was a gardening tip. Melinda's garden moments. Melinda's garden moments. <laughs> like a little twinkle, a music box, music playing. Um, and then the sleepy Hi, I'm Melinda. That's Melinda. I never actually hear Melinda's garden moments. I hear people saying, tune in. Tuesdays whoa, from whoa. Melinda's Garden Moments, but I've never heard one of the Garden Moments. Wow. Well, that was one of them. Thanks. Melinda's like, when you have a piranha plant, fuck. <laughs> I don't listen to radio shows often. When I went to Wright State University in Dayton, Ohio, I used to listen to Elvis Duran in the morning. Okay, got it. Ah! <laughs> whoa. Dogs and I had a psychic moment. <laughs> guys, 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 guys. The only memorable moment is one time in an, in an episode of that morning radio show, they had a inflatable arm flailing. Flynn! They had an Quiet, inflatable bud. arm flailing tube man in the studio. Shh. And I thought it was a joke until one of the other co-hosts got really mad, and he was like, "Stop inflating that!" Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> was like, making a huge mess. Hey guys. Shh. Shh. Flynn, lie down, buddy. Lie down. Aww. Lie down, Hansen. Okay. Here are the patrons. Let's 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 take our dogs out for a minute. We got we got so much more work to do. We've had like four episodes go wrong today. 
We'd be done. No, it's fine. I just, I just, <laughs> no! I just gave Molly the look I've given her four times today when I realized something was going I was about wrong. To cancel She's gonna stats. see that in her nightmares. Ugh. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Hey, bye -bye thanks, now. Vanessa. Please keep your hands in the YouTube video at all times. Thanks, Vanessa. You know what? I'm unthanking Vanessa. No! I have that right. I don't actually even know if there's a patron named Vanessa. There's not. I <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad with names. Maybe there is by now, though. Maybe there is a patron named Vanessa. Welcome, Vanessa. Hey, Vanessa. We've been expecting you. Yes, we have, baby. Baby. Baby girl. Hello, maybe, baby. You possible Vanessa. Schrodinger's patron. Schrodinger's Vanessa. 